What's shaking, everybody? You're listening to Improv Tabletop, and yes, it's finally here, the final episode of our read-through of Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure Game Book 2 Zone Rangers by James Wallace, episode 4. It's taken us a while to get here, but here we are, finally, we get to the thrilling, epic conclusion, and so to prepare you for that, gotta recap fast. Hopefully I can remember everything that happened. So when we picked up last time, Sonic and Tails were still in separate zones. Tails was in the frozen place with the monkeys, they climbed up some of the mountains and Mildred, one of the particular monkeys, kind of paired off with Tails and they fell down a crevasse in the snow. They had some weird run-ins with a plant. Eventually they made it to a room where they had to fight a mammoth to save some other monkeys to get a Chaos Emerald. Eventually they got the Chaos Emeralds, thank goodness, but in the process Tails got mutated to become as fast as Sonic. So Tails is like objectively better than Sonic at this point. Uh, NBD. Then they did some transportation. Meanwhile, Sonic was still in Scrap Brain City and he got himself captured by the rest of the resistance after he made it out into the desert outside the city and discovered that the person who was leading the resistance was the father of one of the guys he met back in the city. All kinds of complicated family stuff. Anyway, they came up with a plan. Sonic jumped the gun on the plan because he was impatient and uh, eventually made it to the tower after saving his friends where he uh, squared up against Galen and the Badger and managed to get another couple of Chaos Emeralds and then he did some teleportation but then Sonic and Tails ended up together in a spaceship, I guess, out somewhere in the middle of space. And they met a robot who told them about the origin of Dr. Robotnik and all kinds of stuff. And then a little robot burst out of that bigger robot. And then they found another big robot that had a smaller robot that had burst out of it. And it's just kind of a messed up situation while these guys are trying to find the robots that stole the Chaos Emeralds. What the heck is going to happen? Let's find out here in this, the final episode of Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog Adventure Game Book 2, Zone Rangers by James Wallace, baby! Down a short corridor is a vast room. Sonic and Tails step into it to see a small red spacecraft hurtle through the opening at the other end, diving through a force field and out into space. Three other spacecraft sit here, one huge and well-shielded, one squat and heavy, and one as thin and streamlined as a dart. What are they? asks Tails. I don't know, says Sonic. Computer! <laughs> Tell us about these three spaceships. Certainly, Sonic, says a voice. The first vessel is the Kubrick. Oh hey, boy. Yeah. <laughs> a long-range spacecraft. The second is the Yuzna, an exploration ship designed for planetary landings. The third is the experimental prototype starfighter Toho, ready for its first test flight. Select a spacecraft for Sonic and Tails, then write it down on Sonic's vital statistics and turn to 250. Which one do we want? The dart! That one's probably Yeah, fastest. it's got to be the fast-looking yeah. one. The one that looks fast. Yeah, let's get the... Gotta go fast. Okay, so we've got the Toho. Turn to page 250... A good choice, says the computer, and the spacecraft's cockpit opens. Sonic and Tails scramble in and sit down. Sonic in the pilot seat and Tails beside him. They strap themselves in. The canopy closes, and they blast off through the force field and away from the space station. Tails is inspecting the controls. They look very simple, just a joystick, a speed control, and a single unmarked red button. Can I press the button, he asks. It's the only way we'll find out what it does. Oh, go on, Sonic, you're hogging all the fun. Let me do this. I'll be your best friend. Wait. Hey, you are my best friend. <laughs> I was <gonna> say. <laughs> you are my best friend, says Sonic, trying to concentrate on controlling this on the ship. Then let me press the button, begs Tails. <laughs> if Sonic says no, turn to 30. If he says yes, Tails leans forward and presses it, and based on which ship they're in, we turn to a different page. No! <laughs> Tails! <gasps> Come on, Set. Come on, Sonic. Let me push the button. Alright, push the button. But only if you're good. Oh boy, we're gonna turn to page 43. <laughs> the book is just like no matter what Tails does, he's he's the bumbling idiot. <laughs> An accented voice filters out of a small out of a small speaker on the instrument panel. Lasers no 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 not fitted to prototype t -t 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 Toho. So sorry, t -t 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 turn to section thir 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 thirty, it says. Bother, says Tails. What was that about section numbers? You'll learn, says Sonic. That's one smart computer. 
Did it say 30 or 330? I hope it was 30 because there are only 300 sections in the book. Oh boy. Uh, there, there literally are only 300 sections in the book oh that we are reading God. right now. <laughs> okay, he flips the Toho through a loop and dives towards section 30. Turn to page 30. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, look at that, guys. It's like, it's like it's all meant to be. Yep. Pulling the spacecraft out of a dive, Sonic spots a red speck against the starry sky. It's the small robot ship, quite some distance ahead. Sonic kicks in the ship's afterburners and speeds after it. The smaller ship jinks, zigzags, and dives towards a field of asteroids ahead of it. From the way it's flying, the two animals can tell that it's agile enough to zip between the floating spinning rocks. They don't know if theirs is, and there's only one way to find out. Do Sonic and Tails pursue the red ship through the asteroids, or fly around the edge hoping to find the target on the other side? We gotta go through. I mean, we we chose the most agile looking ship. Gotta go through. All right, page 211. Sonic sends the spaceship spiraling into the asteroid field. Chunks of rock whiz past on every side, each one big enough to crush the entire green hill zone. Darting ahead of them, tantalizingly close, is the slim shape of the red ship. Roll on Sonic's agility to beat a five. If he's flying the Kubrick, subtract one. Add one if he's flying the yeah. Toho. There we go. Okay, so Sonic's agility is two plus one for the Toho. So that's going to be plus three. We need to beat a five. So we just need a two or higher. And All right, Sonic. Oh, oh, no. We got a one. No. Oh, no. Boy. Sonic, no. Okay. Uh, if he misses the roll, the ship scrapes an asteroid and both Sonic and Tails must lose all their rings. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we have like 60 something. We had, so Sonic had 31, Tails had 17, so we just lost 48 rings. <laughs> they go flying out of the spaceship into the asteroid belt apparently. That's rings. And bounce away into oh, nothingness. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, and then we turn back to page 191. Wait, turn back to page 191? Oh, or they lose a life. Turn back to page 191. Okay, so I guess we just re-roll it now. All right. I hope we don't get a one. Literally, as long as we don't get another one, Connor will be fine. Let's find out. Okay. We got a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to turn to page 267. The last rock zips by outside the cockpit and the ship is past the asteroids. The red ship is still ahead of them, but its lead has been cut. Sonic and Tails are so close now that they can see the robot in its cockpit, surrounded by Chaos Emeralds. The small machine looks back over its shoulder, pushes its rocket's engines to full thrust, and dives towards the swirling warps of confusion that lie ahead. Oh no, shouts Tails, it's a robot, so it won't be affected by the warps. We will. Be careful, Sonic. Wait, hold up. Wasn't that where we were trying to take them anyway? Yes. It is, exactly. Maybe he's just a flan. Maybe he just he's just a little guy. He's quite simply just a little guy. Yeah. I mean, Ross had never seen him before, so we have no guarantee that he's an evil robot. Yeah. He's just a friendly uh, little I mean, tapeworm. he is he is red, the color of evil apparently. Yes. But I mean, as Ross told us, good is a relative term, so evil is also a relative term, right? Man. Oh, relative boy. morality. <laughs> okay. So, Sonic has 3 choices. We can fly straight through the warps. We can zip the we can zip the ship between them, hoping they won't confuse him too much, or he can avoid them completely by flying around the outside. And the little guy's going straight into the warp, so it doesn't the fastest way is to go straight after him. Yeah, the fastest way is to go straight through, but he's a robot, so he won't get affected by them, whereas we will apparently. We're out of rings too. Maybe we better maneuver. <gasps> yeah, let's go to page 100. We do have the zippy shippy. The zip sheep. The ship's controls resist as Sonic turns it towards the spinning lights and sounds of the warps of confusion. He's not sure he can steer his way out safely through them, but he's going to find out. Roll against Sonic's coolness to beat a seven. His coolness is four, so we just need a three or higher. Okay. Okay. I know you rolled a one and a oh, two last time. add one to his score if he's flying the Toho. Oh, yes. So we just need a two or higher. Okay, just don't roll a one again. Okay, we got a three, boys. <laughs> Going up the ladder. Ah, oh, yeah. If he makes it, the ship hurtles out of the whirling madness of the warps. Turn to page 299. Oh, that's and almost as we know, the there end. are only 300 sections. Sonic and Tails zip away from the warp, close behind the red robot's vessel. It tries a zigzag to throw them off its tail, but Sonic follows its every move. Abruptly, a gush of flame erupts from the little rocket's tail. Its stubby wings begin to unfold as it plunges down towards the surface of Mobius, far below. 
Sonic knows he has to follow it, and if he and Tails are to have any chance of recovering the emeralds and saving the planet from the clutches of Robotnik, but he's not sure if their spacecraft can take the strain of diving through the planet's atmosphere. I think, interrupts Tails, it's time we tried that button. <laughs> if Sonic doesn't let him turn to 244, if he does, turn to, since we're in the Toho, 53. Doesn't work, Tails. The button's broken. Maybe, uh... No, but what if it works all now? Right, all right, all right, all right, hit the button. I want to press it so bad. Okay, we'll turn to page 53. Push the shiny red button. An accented voice fills the cabin. No, la 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 lasers fitted to prototype to 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 toho So sorry. Crash landing im 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 imminent. Whoops, says Tails. Turn to page 224. Oh, shoot. I mean, there was no other. We just, we were going to do it anyway, right. I guess. Yeah. Either way, we were going to end up crash landing imminently. We got to push the button at least. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The ship plummets out of the sky. It wasn't built to fly in an atmosphere, and it has the aerodynamics of a dodo. <laughs> what? If it has the aerodynamics of a dodo, then why is it so flippin' fast? It's built like a dart. It should have the aerodynamics of a <laughs> yeah, dart. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The ocean rushes up fast, and the ship hits with a whump that knocks the breath out, the breath and all the rings out of Tails and Sonic. If either of them has no rings, they lose a life, and you must turn back to page no! 191. I have an idea. Sonic still has three lives left. Tails is dead. <laughs> oh, boy. So... Turn back to page 191. This is where we choose which ship we're driving. Are you serious? Oh, yep. boy. Then so, I guess we have to go with the one that lands on the planet. That This is this is terrible. This is so bad. Only one of them is actually going to let you succeed in the end, but you're going to have a harder time along the way to get there. This this sucks. This I is, hate this. This, this is, is bad. dumb. I'm just going to say it. A bag of beans. Dumb. The mechanics are it's poorly a, balanced. It's not, it's like yeah. lentils. <laughs> so we know that the Kubrick is the slowest one, but it's probably the most stable one in the atmosphere. Yeah. And then there's whatever the one in the middle was called. I, I don't even remember. the one remember. in the middle was the one that was uh, specifically designed for planetary landings. Yes, an exploration ship designed for planetary landings. The Yuzna. Let's Yuzna this one. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, let's. <laughs> so, ba ba ba. Okay, we're flying along, and we have the first option to try and push the red button. We are in the Yuzna. Do we want to push the red button or no? I don't. Yeah, want let's to. wait. Let's wait. Okay, turn to page thirty. Pulling the spacecraft out of a dive, Sonic spots a red speck against the starry sky. It's the small robot ship. Oh yeah, blah blah blah. It's trying to lose us in the asteroid field. Do we go through the asteroids or fly around the edge? Yeah, we'll just go around. I mean, we all know what's coming. It's just a yeah. big bag of booty. Lentils. Lentils for days. Yeah, page 189. The red ship disappears amongst the rocks. Sonic steers away from them, skirting the edge of the field and watching for meteors. Roll on Sonic's quick wits to beat a five. If he consulted a space chart on the space station, add one to his score. If he's flying the Toho, add one. If he's flying the Yuzna, subtract one. Mama well, we uh, here's the thing. We, we did consult the star chart. Yeah, so this is going to be a flat roll on our quick wits, which is a three. So and we just need to beat a five. So we just need a two or higher. We we got a six. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, if he succeeds, turn to two sixty seven. The last rock zips by outside the cockpit. Blah blah blah. Okay, now we're at the part where we've got the confusion warps. Do we try and zip around them? Or do we just avoid them completely by flying around the outside? I, yeah, fly around. Yeah. We're not trying to be okay. fancy this time. We're just trying to get to the ground. Yep. Page 77. Sonic steers to one side of the warps. Is his ship fast enough to beat the red robot to the other side? Roll on Sonic speed yeah. to beat a nine. Yeah. If Sonic is piloting the Kubrick, subtract one. If he's piloting the Yuzna, subtract two. Boo. So we got to get like a six. If he saw the star chart, add one. So this is going to be at a minus one. So we're rolling plus four four to try and get a nine so we have to get a five or a six can we can tails take over he's yeah, faster he, he's, and stronger. he's the pilot though. well uh, they, they have exactly the same speed you actually. roll for it though <laughs> you roll for it though i don't want to put my money yeah. on <laughs> <laughs> oh does this mean if i fail that i've got to yes. wait i've already got to eat a hot pepper okay okay uh none of us have to eat a pepper yet but didn't tails die no, it's not like that. maybe it didn't specifically say 
that they both lose a life. It didn't specifically say... <laughs> okay, we are... We are skirting the edges here. Yes, we are. Yeah, He's not so, giving us a lot of options. <laughs> yeah, but we, we only have two lives left between everybody. Okay, then I will try and get a five. Get it. That is a six. Yeah, it is. A better than Whee! a five. Uh, turn to page 299. This is the one where we are falling, falling, falling. Do we, okay, we're in the Yuzna. Do we push the red button? Hit yes. the button, Tails! <laughs> All right, turn to page 113. A voice fills the cockpit. Parachutes have been deployed, it says, just in time. The engines cut out, and the Yuzna falls through the atmosphere of the planet. Far below, Sonic can see the ocean and the red robot's ship floating on the surface. There is no land in sight. As the Yuzna drops closer, he sees that the robot is standing on top of its ship with the Chaos Emeralds beside it. The Yuzna falls into the ocean not far from the small red ship. The water between the ships begins to bubble as something rises up between them, and Sonic and Tails gasp as a huge golden submarine breaks the surface. Robots rush out from the hatches on the submarine and jump across to the red ship. What should we do? Should we use the Yuzna to ram the submarine, abandon the spacecraft, and swim to the sub, or jump to the red ship? Red ship? Wait. The red ship is where the Chaos Emeralds Let's are. Let's get those know. Emmys. Yeah. Going for our EGOT. <laughs> 130. Hey, hey. Sonic and Tails leap towards the red ship, landing on its tail. The small red robot has been joined by four others, taking the Chaos Emeralds to the submarine. Four of them form a wall in front of Sonic and Tails, while the fifth escapes with the gemstones. Sonic and Tails must fight two robots in turn. They must each fight two robots in turn using their speed. Yeah, yeah we're so fast. Okay. Each robot has a rating of seven. Ooh. So we just need to uh, get one. Okay, four rolls, two or higher on each roll. Okay, roll two dice at once. Be cool. Okay. I, I'm I'm doing digital, so I can't, but <laughs> <laughs> a four and a, da, 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 a two. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I got a six and a three. <laughs> Alright, we kill all the robots, turn to page six. The two animals dive into the swirling ocean. Behind them, the ship fills with water and sinks with a gurgle. None of the robots are paying attention to them. They're too busy carrying the Chaos Emeralds down into the submarine. The swim is farther than it looks, and by the time Sonic and Tails haul themselves onto the submarine, the robots have disappeared inside it with the emeralds, and the hatches are closed. One gold ring lies there. Who do we give the gold ring to? You take it, Tails. You, you pick this little guy up. I insist. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll have to take it, otherwise I, I die so quickly. <laughs> Yes. There is a hiss as air bubbles up from around the submarine, and it begins to sink. It's sinking, says Tails, <laughs> stating the <Jeez>. obvious. <laughs> no, it's submerging, oh, says Sonic. Oh, my gosh. You Why are these little guys little friends? Punk. How are they friends? <laughs> <laughs> we have to get inside before it disappears. If Sonic has picked up a crowbar, he can yeah. use it to pry open the hatch. Let's go, yeah, boy. we have a crowbar. Also, oh. we're still in our spacesuits, and if we can survive in space, I'm pretty sure we can survive in water. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. All right. Page 84. The hatch pops open. Sonic and Tails jump in and slam it closed behind them. The submarine is filled with robots, all tending to different complex instruments. The hedgehog and fox sneak past them until they come to a cupboard. In here, says Tails, we've got to find out where the sub is going, so we'll hide in here until it gets there. The cupboard is cramped, but they do each find six gold rings, three each. Okay, three each. Wow, nice. We need it. The journey seems to last an age, but finally the submarine stops. I don't know where we are, says Sonic, but I think we're here. <laughs> uh, this here. <laughs> the heroes scramble over to the nearest <laughs> porthole. The submarine has docked inside a huge dome and is moving towards the dockside, which covers half of the base of the dome. There are two tunnels leading off of it. The place is filled with robots, all attending to different tasks. The voice recites numbers backward through a loudspeaker. 106, 105, 104. Do Sonic and Tails leave the sub and swim to the dock or stay on the submarine to see what happens? Go, get out of here. It's going to explode or something. <laughs> Probably. Okay, 252. This book just keeps on going, Can don't we it? just take a moment and remember, this book started with us just basically running and seeing Robotnik and him being like, you know my plan, and then <laughs> shunting us off into the multiverse. We lied and said yes, and now we've had no idea what's going on oh, man. for a couple hundred pages. Uh, I mean, we woke up, we'd been watching monster movies and eating chili dogs all night, and now here we are. Could have been a nice weekend, but no, no, we had to go into the multiverse of madness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, the two animals dive into the water with hardly a splash and swim towards a deserted corner of the docks. They climb out and watch as the submarine moors to the dock. A gangplank is placed between sub and dock, and the crew of robots begin to carry things to the shore. First off the sub are two crates marked Chaos Emeralds Do Not Drop. <laughs> the robots carrying them disappear into the larger of the two tunnels that lead away from the dock. Next off are four unmarked crates, which are taken down smaller tunnel. After that, nothing happens for a while. Time for us to make our move, whispers Sonic. Which way do we go? Down the larger tunnel, where they took the two crates marked Chaos Emeralds Do Not Drop, or the smaller tunnel where they took the unmarked crates. Huh. I, I, I feel like maybe the... Oh gosh. I want to say the smaller crates. Like, this is the kind of thing where we'd, we'd have, have a fast one pulled on us, but also I may just be overthinking it. Yeah, this ga- this book will be so blatantly obvious, and then sometimes it'll just straight up lie to you, and there's no way to know which yeah. it is. No way to know. Mm-hmm. Man, while we're deliberating, I do just want to point out real quick. Uh, so the illustrations in this book are black and white, but it they did describe it as being a gold submarine. So I like how they just wrote the word gold <laughs> on the side of the submarine just so that we know it's gold. It's the brand. <laughs> it's not the color, it's the brand. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the submarine yes. itself is just like a black submarine. It's a gold brand submarine. A gold brand black submarine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I say we go up down the big one. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's go. Get All it. right. Follow the Chaos Emeralds, purportedly the Chaos Emeralds. After a few meters, the tunnel enters another huge chamber. This one is more like a massive chimney. Far above them, the two animals can see a tiny circle of daylight. Filling the chamber is a huge fat rocket. The bottom half of it is black, the top half is is red, and the tip is pinkish. It looks like Robotnik might if he turned into a rocket. (laughs) What? Beside it is a huge gantry leading to the top of the rocket. Fuel leads join the two together. Uh, Another tunnel leads off from here. Four gold rings lie on the floor, and our heroes take two each. Did this book just use gantry? It did, in (laughs) fact. That is surprising to me for the level of writing we're seeing. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> okay, the voice from the speakers echoes oddly in here. 79, 78, 77. Should we climb the gantry or head down the tunnel? I mean, the, it, it's obviously cl- counting down to the rock going off, and we need to be in there before it does to stop the crystals. So I say go up. Whee! Up we go. Okay, 55. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. <laughs> Sonic leaps onto the gantry with tails close behind. It's a long climb, but they reach the entrance to the rocket with seconds to spare. They dive in, and the door slams shut behind them. From outside, they can hear the last stages of the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you know, inquires Tails, that films invented rocket countdowns? The scientists really used count ups, but countdowns were more exciting. <sighs> is there an option to okay. tell Tails to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there, is there an option to leave Tails? Okay, <laughs> Tails, cool, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I reiterate the question, but for a different reason. Why are these guys friends? <laughs> Oh, man. There is a rumble below them, and the rocket lifts off, gaining speed and height. The animals are pressed against the metal floor, their faces pulled out of shape by the G-forces. Slowly, things return to normal, and they run to the porthole. The rocket's takeoff has burnt up most of Robotnik's base. Oh, wow. Good thing so, we left. So, like, the thing we left, yeah, it's a good thing we got onto the rocket, because we would have <laughs> Yep. <died>. Um, <laughs> Let's see. A small dot takes off from the blazing ruins and zooms away, trailing smoke. Robotnik in his egomatic. What? Yeah, apparently he survived the inferno somehow. Yeah, he's got a waffle maker. He's hiding it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you crash, Sonic yells at him and turns to Tails. Now we've got to work out how to stop the rocket delivering the emeralds. Our heroes can search the rocket or open the hatch. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's just such a great thing to yell at your nemesis. Um, oh boy <laughs> the options I was just laughing we can search the rocket or open the hatch like to the outside apparently let's, I think that's what it is the yeah I don't think we should be opening the door <laughs> yeah, just while yet. we're in takeoff the nose of the rocket doesn't have much in it the hatch and two machines one is a computer with a screen and a joystick the other is a strange device attached to the rocket's hole like a big grenade launcher or bomb <laughs> rack there's a panel on the side which tails pops open Inside are the Chaos Emeralds! Yeah, they are. Oh, we're genius. We got them. We got them, boys. Oh, man. Sonic and Tails can operate the computer, open the hatch, or jettison the Chaos Emeralds. Like, just send them flying out of the rocket? 
Yeah. Okay. That's a bad yeah, idea. Yeah, that sounds horrible. Let's do anything else. <laughs> so operate the computer or open the hatch. I'm actually, honestly, still not entirely sure what hatch it is, but I think it's the hatch to the outside. Let's look at the computer and see if we can't reprogram this to not do the bad thing, yeah. which I'm still, I'm unclear what's going on. <laughs> like, well, what's his plan? His plan is be evil, and our plan is uh, get back to the chili dogs, I think. I yeah. like our plan. Yeah. <laughs> our plan is the better Agreed. plan. Sorry, I actually didn't hear what you said. I was distracted. <laughs> um, gonna, yeah, let's try. computer. Uh, let's, let's, let's see if we can okay. hack. Yeah. Hacker, hackathon. All right. Sonic stands over the keyboard. There is no password, just a menu showing choices. And I will say, based on the illustration, the title of the menu is Rocketnik Control Menu. Ah. Cool. So Sonic starts zipping through the choices. Can it play Cosmic Invaders 2? Asks Tails. <laughs> no, shut up and let me operate this thing. Snaps finally, the finally he said it. <laughs> Tails, just oh. chill for like a minute. <laughs> We're doing something. <laughs> Before long, he has called up the menu he wants. There are four choices. Which does he choose? Self-destruct, <laughs> open the hatch, change the rocket's course, or jettison let's the emerald. The yeah, let's change the rocket's course. Okay, turn to page 246. I can't believe he's just like, shut up. Hey, Tails, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> the screen changes um. to show a map of Mobius. Choose new destination, it reads. Sonic moves the crosshairs over the map with the joystick, but he doesn't really want to land the Chaos Emeralds anywhere on his homeworld. What happens if you move it out into space, suggests Tails. Sonic tries it, and the map changes to a star chart. Wahoo, he whoops. How far away should we send this thing? As far as possible, says Tails. I've got a better idea, says Sonic. Let's send them back to Ross on Space Station Erie. He can put them back in the warps of confusion and guard them as well. He moves the crosshairs over the blip marking the, new, marking the space station on the map and presses the button. New destination registered, reads the screen. Make next choice. What do we want to do now? Self-destruct, open hatch, or jettison chaos <laughs> this is emeralds? A I just want to say this is a bad plan. We've already been shown that their defenses are compromised. I say we I say we we open the hatch and we get yeah, ourselves out yeah. and just let them do it cuz you know what this seems like yeah. it's no longer our problem. Ross this is on you. Yeah. We're going <laughs> It's out of Bye. our hands. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. The hatch pops open with a whoosh and the rush of wind outside pulls all the loose objects including Sonic and Tails out through the gap and into mid-air. The rocket shoots away from them, still heading towards the edge of the atmosphere and into space. The planet is so far below them that it looks like a map, but it's getting closer at an alarming rate. Grab my paw, shouts Tails. I'll use my tails as a helicopter to land us safely. Sonic falls towards his friend and grabs his outstretched arm, just like Sonic didn't do for Tails the first time they were falling from the <laughs> yeah, sky. Yeah, rude, but okay. <laughs> yeah, he grabs his outstretched arms. Save me from this fall, he shouts above the roaring, wind of the, the roaring of the wind, and you'll be a true hero, not a sidekick oh anymore. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So the only uh, real way for him to be a hero is to save the quote-unquote real hero? This is emotional manipulation. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. If your friend is treating you this way, they're not they're your friend. They're gaslighting you. Get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh man Tails whirls his twin tails But either Sonic is too heavy Or the air this high up Or the air this high up Is too thin to carry them Tails' strength is five yeah, come on Come on Well maybe Does Sonic's have a... weight is six Yeah he's been <laughs> eating too many chili dogs <laughs> If Sonic has a parachute What what parachute? Since when was that uh, an option? Tails has not picked up a single thing Oh my gosh Okay if Sonic doesn't have a parachute Turn to 63. Whoa! Sonic shouts as he hurtled towards the ground. Whoa! You, oh. Okay, so real quick. Sonic shouts whoa with four O's. Tail shouts whoa with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen 13, 14, 15 O's not to be outdone by Sonic, it says. Never, oh never my again. God. Oh, okay. It gets even worse. Whoa! Uh, so Sonic hold then on. one ups him again? Yes, before eventually saying, Hold on, this is stupid. Which zone are we falling towards? <laughs> oh my I hope it's the Green Hill Zone, Tail shouts. Trees and waterfalls. I hope we don't land on anyone we know. They slam into the ground at several hundred <laughs> meters per second and lose all the rings oh. they're carrying. 
I mean, at we, least have we have rings, rings. so yeah, we're yeah, alive, yeah. I guess. Good rings. <laughs> we have rings. Okay. If it was either of their last life, it's a game over. So we're, we're good to go. Okay, if not, they're back in the green hill zone, although badly hurt. Turn to page 300. <gasps> Let's go, boys. Guys, I think we did it. Guys, guys, is this it? Let's find out. The two heroes pick themselves up and brush the dust and grass off their gloves and knees. Sonic shields his eyes with his hands and looks around. It's weird, he says, but there's no sign at all of the construction that was going on when we left. No ugly buildings, no stupid roads, no bulldozers, no robots, no television, no Robotnik Broadcasting Company. It's them, comes a shout from the edge of the woods, and Sonic and Tails' friends rush out to greet them. So what happened? Tails asks. The Robotnik Broadcasting Company went off the air about an hour ago when we all woke up, replies Porker Harris. At first we all thought we were going somewhere else, but ships remember what was going on. So where are all the buildings and roads? Sonic asks. Well, all the equipment was lying around, and that stuff is even better at taking buildings apart than it is at putting them together, <laughs> Porker says a little sheepishly. Chainsaws, jackhammers, pneumatic drills, you know. <laughs> Dynamite, too, adds Johnny Lightfoot. That was fun. Oh my gosh. So everything's back to normal, Tails asks. His pals all nod. The bad guys have been defeated, the Chaos Emeralds are safely on their way back to the Warps of Confusion, and our home is safe again. You know what that means, Tails, asks Sonic. It means we can watch Mobzilla fights outer space monsters from Planet Z as many times as we like, the fox replies ecstatically. Ding, 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 ding. Anyone want to come with us? Everyone bring food. Oh, this is Sally. Everyone bring food. We'll have a party, Sally cries. And they do. Oh my gosh. You know, Sonic says later that evening after the last of the snacks had been eaten and everyone else had gone home, traveling around the world to save hapless civilians from ruthless tyrants and ultimate evil is all very well, but there's nothing like spending time with your friends. Don't you agree, Tails? Now, before we say what Tails really responds with, what should Tails respond with? Tails resp should respond with, You know, Sonic, I've been meaning to talk to you about our relationship. It, <laughs> it puts an unhealthy burden on me, and the way you treat me is not fair. Uh, I don't think I can continue being your friend or really communicating with you as part of my life. Uh, I appreciate the time <laughs> we spent together, but I don't think we can continue. You need to work on yourself. <laughs> You're right, Tails. I really don't like the things you say or the commentary you add to our adventures. <laughs> our season of friendship has passed. I'm going to go gaslight somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And the thing that James Wallace decided that Fucktail said instead was, Zzz, because he's asleep, slumped in front of the television. <laughs> Sonic looks at him and yawns himself, adventuring his tiring work. Sonic lies down next to his friend, safe at home at last, and goes to sleep. Wow. There was negative zero plot structure there. I mean, whole... like, Choose Your Own Adventures can get a little wonky, but this was like, this was intensely Whoa. out there. This this felt like a fever dream. This could have gone mm -hmm. on forever, and I, I, I feel like that's just what the writing was implying. <laughs> like, oh man. What? What? What did we even stop? Uh, we put some rocks back into space and let the robot handle it, so... I don't think we yeah, but contributed. Uh, uh, initially, there was something bad going on with the TV, and that's why we left. And we went, and there was a robot going to fall on tails. I feel like I'm telling you about a dream I we, had, and it yeah, makes no sense. Yeah, we went to a lot of different places, all of which were having issues, and none of which we resolved. We just kind of like... Like, we <laughs> left the boars yeah. in the middle of a turf war. We left the monkeys in a frozen wasteland. Have fun. We left the the people in Scrap Brain City in the middle of a revolution. <laughs> and we left Ross with our garbage to clean up. Ah, uh, now that we got rid of those weird rocks, nothing else is wrong. Let's go watch TV. <laughs> yep. Well, now we can score our adventure. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get 100 points for every Chaos Emerald we manage to recover during our adventure. Three in total. So that's 300. We add another 100 points for every life we had left. We had two lives left, so we're at 500. And we had one point for every ring we were carrying when we reached section 300. We have no rings because we hit the ground <gasps> at like at 50 miles an hour. 70. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> So we got 500 points and we can use the space opposite as a high score chart and challenge your friends to see who can do better. Good luck. No, thank no, that's you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To our dear listeners, you, you don't need to try this. You're fine. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're good. You're good. Oh boy. Let's see. Look, wait. What? Okay. So now we've got 
Uh, book recommendations now here at the end of this book. What the heck? Okay, so we've got Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. <gasps> Wait, like... Yeah, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Like the actual Robin Hood. The wow. actual Robin okay. Hood. I don't want to make assumptions, but is this person saying, if you liked this and thought this was good quality, it is comparable <laughs> to Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Apparently, it's also comparable to the Adams Family. Okay. And, and two Batman books. <laughs> Batman, The Black Egg of Atlantis... And Batman, I werewolf. That's great. You know, while he was describing the rocket, that is, uh, he, he he used this great descriptor. If Eggman were a rocket, it would look like that. I, I was specifically <laughs> thinking of the Batmobile, which I am now only going to describe as kind of like if Batman was a car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> kind of like if Batman was a car. <laughs> Wait, this is unhinged. Yeah. Okay, so Gotham City is trapped in the jaws of terror as its streets become the hunting ground of a mysterious werewolf. Out of the night, Robin and his mentor Batman come to track this beast, vowing to save the city from its vicious attacks. As Robin is drawn deeper into the cave, he discovers a dark secret about the werewolf that he must keep from Batman. But without Batman's help, can Robin stop the rampage of the killer wolf before it strikes again? Amazing. That sounds... <laughs> like, is Batman the werewolf? I mean, and that's now what Robin wait, has wait, wait, to wait. save is Gotham ba from where is Batman? Is Batman Sonic and Tails is Robin, who is <laughs> Batman's werewolf, who is Rogue the Bat, who is dating Big the Cat? Who is also Luigi, and now he has to save Sonic because he got put in a painting by King Boo in the middle of a giant hotel. I tell you, man, these read-your-own-adventure books are crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's recommend some better ways that our <laughs> listeners can spend their time. Uh, what games have we been playing? I'm going to, uh, by the time this episode releases, this is going to be pretty old news, but The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> yes. is a real game that really exists. It's for free uh, on Steam, and the trailer is so good. Yep. For free on Steam, there is the question, is Sonic actually dead in the game, or is it all a ruse? You'll just have to find out for yourself. Um, it's very much in the style of an Ace Attorney sort of like... Uh, look at the environment, gather clues, talk to people, present evidence to them to try and work out who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, there is this one part where, like, whenever you're trying to put information together, you have to do a Sonic bonus level, like, where you jump around and try and collect as many rings no. as you can. And That's so great. Yeah, they, they do get a little annoying, I will be honest. <laughs> uh, but it's a nice call-out to the history of Sonic. And they've got, like, they've got all kinds of fun characters in there. They've even got, like, Vector the Crocodile yeah. and Espio the whatever he Chameleon. is from like the <laughs> yeah from like way way back in the day yep so yeah go check out the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog if you want to see this terrible gaslighting horrible friend get his just desserts <laughs> he's kind of a menace yeah a little you know? bit I'll say by the time this comes out if I haven't beat Tears of the Kingdom Tears of the Kingdom it mm. because something has gone horribly wrong. It's because Christian yeah. Randall has been murdered. Because <laughs> yes. I've already taken the day off. I I am going to play that oh, game yeah. too much. Oh, yeah. Man, like, I, I honestly will not be surprised if my boss takes the day <laughs> off when Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Yeah, I, I may oh, disappear man. for and a while. Connor, what are you going to play? Huh, you know, oh, man, I've been... Uh, I've actually been really into a game that came out... It's a couple years ago now, 2019, 2018. I've been playing Sea of Thieves. It's a game uh, that Microsoft oh, yeah. has really kind of put as one of their big uh, forerunners. It's a game by Rare, who did like Banjo Kazooie, Conker's Bad Fur Day, mm. uh, Donkey Kong 64. The Donkey yeah. Kong Country and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, man, it's really fun. Uh, Sarah and I have been playing it during the week when we're not able to hang out in person as much. And it's like as compelling as a social platform as it is from a gameplay side. So I've been having a really good time just scouring the seven seas and running into random people and uh, being a pirate. That's that's what I've been up to lately. <laughs> uh, something just fell out of this decades old book that I bought from a used bookstore in England. Uh, it's a little piece of paper cut into the shape of the Tetris T block and it says what I think is the word Rochdale on it. Ha. Huh. R-O-C-H-D-A-L-E. It, maybe it's a clue. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clue. A clue that we're never going to read one of these Sonic yeah. books again. <laughs> oh, Look, man. People will have to actually beg us 
to do another yeah. one of these. Like, I'm not going to buy Sonic and Zonic just out of the goodness of my heart. You're going to have to pony up some cash <laughs> on our yeah. Kofi if you want us to keep it's doing these be, books. So we, we got a $2 contri contri contribution for this one. At least three bucks if you guys want to see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sonic 3. Oh, oh my gosh. You know, I'm actually going to go onto eBay right now. I'm going to look up Sonic and Zonic to see what it's going for Probably these days. Probably $9,000, which is about what I would say it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the full first edition collectors. It's not showing up on eBay. This is a bad sign. Sonic and Zonic game book? Whoa. Zonic the Zone Cop. This is crazy. I'm still really sad that... Tails didn't get to meet the one guy who liked him. I know, him. he's a little fan. Okay, it's Sonic versus Zonic. Oh. And there is, oh gosh, this is so much cheaper than Zone <laughs> Rangers. Oh no. Okay, 25 bucks with $8 shipping from the UK. Why are they all in England? Maybe Sonic why, why? is way bigger in England than it is in America. Think of it I, this I think way. these actually were written and published in England because, like, they spell color with a uh, U in these books. Uh, and he has red trainers instead of red sneakers. So, hmm. Okay. So, dear sweet listeners, if you can manage to <laughs> pony up 32 bucks on our Kofi account, we will buy Sonic versus Zonic and we'll read it for you guys. <laughs> I'm horrified because that's definitely going to happen. Yeah. This needs to be a tax write-off or it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Well, assuming that this one hasn't been sold out by then, because surely another podcaster is going to swoop in and snatch this up before we can get to it. It's it's gold. It's pure it gold. Well, everybody, thanks for uh, listening to this. Is, I believe this is probably going to be four episodes yeah. in total by the time we're done with it. <laughs> this book is ridiculous. It took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. <laughs> I'm going to go and drink an entire gallon of water to save my throat. Uh, but in the meantime, much love and stuff, everybody. Thanks for listening. I am Ned Wilcock, your host and book reader, and today I've been joined by Christian Randall, the abused tales guy. Conrad McDouglas Woodard, abuser. <laughs> Oh boy! Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to just, for the record, say that Connor is yeah, a good nice. man, and you should not do not take that out of context. It's this is all a joke for the podcast. That. Oh boy! Much love and stuff, everybody. We'll catch you next time. Whenever Sonic, whatever, blah blah blah. Bye. Bye. <laughs>